Hello everyone, Nicky the Gamer 6 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own wood auto sorter. Let's get into it. Alrighty, for Technic, you're going to need two trap doors, two wood detectors, two signal sustains, three red wires or any type of wire, three orange wires or any other type of wire, two levers, and then two blocks of your choice so that it will read which block to use to activate this thing. Alrighty, so to start off with the building materials, you'll need eight large floors, eight tiny floors, two one and a half wedges, 34 posts, I know that's a lot, and then two smooth walls. And after you get all those, you can build the little boxes that'll keep your wood safe. You also need one by four times one wedges, two of them being ice, and then two um, ice posts, just in case you have a little gap here. But these will be used so that the wood does not get stuck. Alrighty, now you'll need two straight conveyor switch lefts so that the wood can be redirected into the baskets. And then you'll need one, two, three, four, five of these straight conveyors. It depends on how far your sawmill is away, but you will need about four just so it can get in. And then you will need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tilted conveyors. This just really depends on where your sawmill is away. If you have a similar one to me, which is ground floor, then you should be fine. Alrighty, so now we're going to extend our little sawmill path so that it can go up to our little drop-off boxes. Alrighty, now that we've finished building our conveyor belt, it should look like this, and whenever you put wood on it, it will go off, it, it can go off your main thing, but this is just my design. Get past that part, it'll just go straight up, just bring it over here, straight up, it'll go over that little crevice, I have to put that there because of the stuff, and then if you have a little detector, it will then go into our baskets, as so, just give it a bit. And there we go, freaking nice. Alrighty, let's move on to the building stage. So because this one's a little more complicated, I'll go with you on it. So what you want to do is put a tiny floor right at the edge of this thing so that it'll be symmetrical. And then you want to grab a post, make it shoot straight up so that it'll touch it. And then after you do that, we can start building our post to the side like so until it gets close to the wall, but not too close. You don't really have to have a wall, but I'm just having it because, well, I've already built a wall. And yeah. No, alrighty, so just keep doing this little post structure. And then, once you have it all done, I will see you. No, alrighty, so a little key thing you do not want to do is you do not want to put the tiny floors on the top like that. All you want to do is just slide these in like so, so it'll be very easy to construct this. No, alrighty, you do not want to fill this front end with it. That is where these come in. You want to take one smooth wall, paste it at the front, and then you want to take two posts, or no, I think one post, yes, one post, and then put it in like this so the wire can go to the trap door. Now you want to get a trap door, and then put it right about here. You want to take a lever, grab the lever, put the lever there, because this is closer to this color, we're going to use orange. And this one's red because it's cherry. They're color coded. We want to grab these wires, make it look nice, but also not too crazy. And then put it on the output. And then we have our very own trapdoor system. If you want it to look better, you can always just rotate it, but that's for you to decide. Alrighty, I'll get to you whenever you've built the other one, which is just the exact same instructions as this one. Oh, and one thing make sure you also space these apart, don't put them together. Make sure they're also following the same rules of they're touching these. If you're building from the left side of your base, make sure the left side of it touches this. And if you're building from the right side, do the opposite. Make sure the right side of it touches 
this part right here. Just like this one. Alrighty, so once you finish building it, you can also just do the same thing with the trapdoors. Just wire it back up. Okay, so if you need to check, just check right now. It should look like this. I think three units off from each little point on the right. And if you have that, then you're all set for the next part of this video. Now, we need to install these little bumpers to make sure this thing will actually work properly. So now we just need to tilt these and get on flat ground and place these about right there. After you do that for both sides, you're ready for the Technic part. Make sure you watch and pay close attention because this part's going to get a little confusing. Alrighty, so it makes that little sound and there's a little gray laser. So this laser will detect if something, or the wood type, is in it. It little, makes a little output and that is going to be helpful to make sure this thing opens whenever that wood is there. But because the little signal is just a little too short, we're going to put a signal sustain below it. Alrighty, so what you want to do is get your orange wire, plug it into the output, and then plug it into this signal sustain's input, and then it will last longer. Oh, and make sure you make the signal duration longer by tapping on this. Make it max out, because that's the best stuff you can get. Alrighty, so what you want to do is grab your little wire, put on the output, put it right here, right there, and then put it on this little orange thingy so that it will open this little gate. Now you can put your wood right here, let it drift in, and then it will get pushed by this, ultimately landing in your little wood drop off. And then you can open this thing, get your wood out, and then go sell it and go on your merry day. So now we're gonna do this other one. Alrighty, same thing as before, the laser needs to be a little bit ahead of this ice block. Put your signal sustain here, and then just copy the same steps that I showed you. But there's one more thing before it has to work. You need to go get a little block of wood, that is that wood type, that you wish to store. Uh, if it'll in hand. And then you just want to put it into that little top part. Now that it's in there, it'll make that sound with the laser. And then you just put it in there. And then it'll open, sustain it, and then it'll soon drift into there. And then it's stored. Alright, so that's how you make a simple wood sorter quickly and easily in Limber Tycoon 2. This costs roughly 5k to 10k, and if you want to make it even bigger, it'll cost a lot more. But it's really efficient, and if you just want to have a fun time collecting woods, this is for you. Alrighty, so that's how you make a simple wood sorter in Limber Tycoon 2. If you want to see another video on how you can do stuff or make stuff in this game, please comment it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video and it helped you, please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.